Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2 is a sequel to the Netflix uh, movie is the first uh, a sequel to the first ever Polish slasher movie now the sequel is so terrible that I forgot that I watched it four days later My friend brought it up and I was like, oh wait a second that movie's terrible. Don't watch it um, So let me get into the reason why the first film is a fun throwback to those backwoods, you know sort of Slasher movies where you know a group of uh, young people go in the woods and they get attacked by whatever it's a bit of homage to um, Just Before Dawn, but uh, in the first movie, the, a group of teens going to a technology-free um, camp uh, experience get attacked by a couple of inbred monster twins. Uh, so the second film takes place immediately after. However, we're introduced to a really awkward action sequence in which a police officer with a shotgun kills a bunch of aristocracy vampires, rescues a girl, Turns out to be a dream from a constable named Adam, and uh, he's working with, uh, this, I guess, the sheriff of sorts or the um, police officer in charge. So uh, he, he befriends Zasha, and uh, she's being taken back to the crime scene so she can explain what's going on because, you know, the twins, they're, they're, they're captured too. So, however, when she gets her, the meteor infects her, and now the final girl of the first film becomes the antagonist. So, which is an interesting twist on the, uh, the sequel, however... Only the first hour of this movie is a, is a horror film. The, the next uh, 30 minutes turns into a weird sci-fi romance comedy, and it simply doesn't work. It's just, I can understand the filmmaker, they wanted to go in that direction, they want to take a risk, but it's really awkward, it takes the mystique out of the, uh, the creatures. Um, the gore's still there, but um, honestly, the ending also leaves a sour taste in your mouth. It's an example of uh, just because you can do a sequel doesn't mean you should. They should have definitely tried to work out the, the, the storyline a little bit better if they wanted to uh, sort of create a franchise of sorts, but they should have tried to maybe keep it in within the same genre tone as well because what they did was just really, really like out there and it just simply didn't work. So I don't think the sequel has any value. So I give Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2 a 0 out of 10.